YouTube, fellow truck drivers, fellow RTIers. Hey, we got some more subscribers. We're up to 85 now. All right, guys. Um, I know it's been a while since I did in the last video. I don't remember how to know how long it is, but we're up to 85 subscribers. We're getting close to 100, guys. Um, I got some pretty exciting news. I thought I'd get on here and share with y'all. Um, as of now, I am no longer on the uh, glass dedicated uh, because they switched it around. So the miles I wasn't getting, I I was getting miles, but I wasn't getting the miles I wanted. So I went ahead and switched over. Um, also, I've been running hard, guys. So I mean, did a vehicle recovery. Um, I did a, a repo, whatever it. They want to call it a vehicle recovery. I call it a repossession. Um, but anyway, I just want to let you guys know I'm out here. I'm running hard. I'm doing pretty good. I'm over the road. I'm up here right now in at the TA Ann Arbor, Michigan, but it's actually in Dexter, Michigan. I'm on my way to Rochester Hills, Michigan, to drop off the second part of this AMR load I'm I'm having. Um, been getting 10, 11 miles to the gallon. So my fuel mileage is really improved. Um, and it's due to this stuff called FPPF, fuel power. It's a little bottle, about eight ounces. Um, I put that, uh, I uh, my initial treatment was a bottle each tank. It treats each bottle is eight ounces, treats up to 240 gallons. But for my initial treatment, I did a, a bottle, an eight ounce bottle on each tank. Now I use half a bottle on my primary, half a bottle on my secondary. It has improved. It has improved my uh, my fuel mileage. Also, uh, the first part of my AMR load was this morning uh, delivered in Cicero, Illinois. Um, and then tomorrow, after I deliver, I gotta wait till Thursday morning to take a FedEx load back to the Kansas City yard. And this load was 864 miles. Um, the next one is 822. Um, if this load that I'm on now doesn't get pushed through to this settlement um, that's happening today, um, because of the holiday, I will have short miles, about 1,500 miles. But next settlement, I'll be starting the week with 1,600 miles because I have this 800 mile run and then another 800 mile run. But anyway, let's get a, let's uh, let's see the exciting news uh, here in a second. I want to give a shout out to my new subscribers. Thanks guys for subscribing to my channel or subscribing to my channel. Um, oh, what else can I say? Oh, anyway, I am wearing one of the new shirts, by the way. Um, that is one of the new exciting things. I got new shirts. I read. I redid my. Uh, I had my shirt maker, um, Visual Ink Productions in Lincoln, Illinois, does my shirts. By the way. Um, and if you guys would like one, you can comment on here and I can place an order. I just, this is the new design. I will get new shirts in on between the first week in August, like the second or the fourth. Whenever I get home, I'm going to go pick those up. I do have three shirts. Unfortunately, they're pretty much called for. They're the older design. The new design, um, is going to be the cell design. Um, I'm going to start selling t-shirts um, and I'm going to sell them at my price um, unless you guys want me to send them to you then it's going to be a little you know it's going to be a little more expensive um, if you guys uh, if you subscribers want some some combat trucking gear just let me know I'll uh, leave a comment or um, one of them, uh, send me an email or whatever say hey here's my address yada yada I'll figure out some way we can pay uh, when we hit uh, we had 100 subscribers, which we're not too far away. We are going to do a Convent Trucking t-shirt giveaway. That at 100 subscribers, we are going to do a fine Convent Trucker. And if you come up to me and say, you see me anywhere, a TA, a Pilot, a Flying J, a Loves, um, you see me at a shipper, receiver at the yard, at the RTI yard to say, come up and say, hey, I found out, found the combat trucker and I'll throw you a t-shirt. Hopefully you wear large, extra large, 
or double X or I think medium, I order medium. But here we go. Anyway, before I get to the shirt, I want to show you guys something I'm very excited about. Combat trucking. As you see it, certificate of ownership of a business. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, subscribers, people, I am officially the owner of Combat Trucking. Um, when I get to my terminal, I'm going to redo my contract. Uh, no, it doesn't mean I'm starting over with my lease purchase. It just means that it's going to be under my company name. And that's part of my exciting news. I, I, I was really excited about that. got over 4th of July weekend. That's another reason this week is going to be short if I can't get this 800 and some mile load pushed through to this week's settlement and not next week. But that's all right if it doesn't because I have 1,600 miles um, to start the week by Friday. Friday afternoon I'll have 1600 miles in two more 800 mile runs that'll be uh, that'll be 3200 miles um, I'm running low on clock though so I gotta watch my clock but I'm gonna get uh, good recap hours but anyway this is the blue this is the blue shirts I had these blue shirts made especially for me my favorite color is blue my trucks blue hence the blue shirts so most of my shirts are the, pri the basic color is going to be gray unless somebody wants a certain color shirt like my fiance she uh, requested green so she got green shirts um, she does want two blue ones she's got the green shirts in the old design um, but here's the new design we got the front logos the same but we have added the flag on the side on the uh, left hand sleeve the flag as you see when you're walking it's like it's blowing in the wind that's the American flag and then on the back it's kind of the same design guys I'm just kind of I don't know if you guys can see it but I'm a army veteran combat veteran hence combat of course we all know that but over here uh, we got dog tags coming off the front fender steer tire fender with the army star in it which I thought was pretty cool So, sorry about that, guys. I'm just my nose is just really bad right now. So that's exciting. This is the best part, though, guys. I am. This is my certificate of ownership of my business, or my DBA, doing business as combat trucking. I can now legally use that for anything. But I thought I'd get on here and, and tell you guys that I'm doing good. Um, I had a guy uh, give a shout out to John, John Gullet. Um, is the guy that used my name to come over here um, to get a rehire. He was a rehire, actually. Um, he worked here about three years ago. I want to give him a shout-out because he did uh, get, send me a text message today. And uh, he asked how I was doing. He hadn't heard from me in a while. And I was like, haven't heard from me in a while. I said, hence YouTube videos? He's like, yeah. I was like, man, I've been busy. But, yeah, guys, that's why I haven't put out a video yet. Uh, I've been busy, and I was going to do one earlier today. But, of course, like I say, take pride in your ride. And I was out putting, I had got my truck washed today at the Streak and Beacon, a.k.a. the Blue Beacon. Um, and I decided to uh, polish my wheels up and put some tire shine on my wheels, so that's what I was doing all afternoon today. I was done about uh, 3 o'clock Central, 4 o'clock Eastern, because I'm in the Eastern time zone. Um, but I'm going down to Ohio tomorrow to... Uh, Hubber Heights or Hubber Hubber Heights, uh, Ohio, picking up a FedEx load and taking that back to the Kansas City yard. There you go. Um, if you guys do see me and um, do uh, want a shirt, there, uh, I'm gonna start charging when I get the, the design I just showed you with the dog tags. Those are gonna be twelve dollars a shirt, um, except for if you find the combat trucker. Um, that shirt will be free when we hit 100 subscribers. Um, after 100, um, every 100 subscribers we get to this channel, we'll do we'll do a, a shirt giveaway. Um, I haven't got the hat yet. I'm going to do the hat. I'm going to do a hat. I'm the only one with a combat trucking hat. I'm having one made, and I am actually going to make up a contest or something to give that away. Um, but yeah, I, I, I uh, polished my wheels today. I was talking to another guy that does his own polishing, too same method I use um, but yeah guys I just want to show that exciting business with you I've been out here running pretty hard doing well 
the 31st of this month will be six months. That means five and a half years to go before I own my truck. Because it's a six year lease, lease purchase. Um, but I will be in the Kansas City yard. Oh, and, and Kansas City's all right. It, they got a pretty nice uh, driver's lounge. I, I got to give them that. They have a huge driver's lounge, huge shower rooms. Um, it's, it's a pretty nice terminal. It's 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 really nice. I mean, they got the they got they got some things going on there. I mean, if you need a load, you can get in there and get a load. But uh, other than that, uh, I will be around the Kansas City yard this uh, weekend. So any of my subscribers that follow me. Um, that get notifications of my uh, videos when I record one. Um, I'll be at the Kansas City Yard sometime this weekend. I'm dropping a FedEx load and then probably from there I'll be uh... oh damn it. <laughs> Cigarette went out. Um, but from there I'll be uh... I don't know what I'll be, where I'll be going. I might pick up a Smucker's load, go to University Park. Uh, I might pick another Amar load up and go somewhere else. I don't know. Might go out west. But as far as that, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good, guys. Um, I don't really have much to talk about. The only thing I can say is when you do this, guys, you can't be lazy. When you come over here to do these purchase, you got to want to run. And you have to watch your fuel consumption, your fuel economy, your fuel mileage. I can't reiterate that enough to you guys. Fuel by the load. The only time that I'm going to tell you to fill your tanks up is if you're getting fuel for like 270 something, 269, something like that where it's that cheap. Because here's what you're doing when you fill your tanks up at the beginning of the week. Okay, say you put 140 gallons, 150 gallons at say three dollars, three whatever, and it say it's 422 dollars. It's the beginning of the week, and you're going, you you've picked up your load, and you're starting on that load, and that's a little short pond hopper, say 300 miles, 400 mile load. You are now chasing that 400, 500 dollar fuel charge. You are now in debt at the beginning of the week. Um, I did it for two weeks, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was getting gas for pretty cheap, or fuel, diesel fuel for pretty cheap, 280 something, 270 something. So I filled up. Well, I messed up, guys, because I forgot I filled up at the Petro for 422 dollars, and that made my fuel expense go. Whoosh. So I no longer do that. I did it for two weeks. I tried it for two weeks, fueling. I fueled on Wednesday, I fueled again on Friday, and I, I filled my tanks up again on Sunday. And, nah, it didn't work for me, guys. It doesn't, and my method might not work for you, fueling by the load. You might have, you you might fill your tanks up and fill your tanks up every couple days, and it works for you. Not everybody's method works. But I just put that out there to let you know that that's how I do it, and, and it works, and it saves saves me money um this week if i'm short on miles i will i'm not gonna lie i will be negative 1500 miles um yeah i'm not even gonna break even i need 1800 miles i figured out i need 1800 miles to break even and and put at least two three hundred dollars in my pocket after fuel expenses but anyway guys um again i'll show you guys the shirt one more time the back i'll show you guys the back here got the dog tags on there of course I'm from Lincoln Illinois it's got the army star on there and then of course on the left sleeve it's got the American flag and then the front is still the same design this is blue I like blue blue is my favorite color and of course the certificate of ownership of a business which was very exciting for me I also opened up a business bank account, which is soon. I ordered business checks. I dropped a $100 uh, bill in that bank account to start it up. Ordered business checks. Um, so my business is rolling. It's it's almost six months, and I'm really starting to get into it. Um, I opened up a business, a small business, free small business checking account. I ordered business checks with Convet Trucking. The debit card is coming. Um, the name on it is going to be Convet Trucking. 
Um, and I'm going to start, once I get the debit card, I'm going to start having the um, my settlements be deposited in that account. And the business checks, I'm going to start writing myself, you know, uh, contributions. Um, reasonable contributions. Not pay, but I'm, I'm depositing reasonable contributions into my bank account. Um, so other than that, guys, uh... Oh, and settlements will be going up because, like I told you guys, I do pay child support. Um, um, I'm almost done with my back child support. Then I won't pay that no more. And then it'll just be $200 a week coming out of my settlements. So that'll put an extra $300 in my pocket. But this is what I'm doing with that money. Since I haven't missed it, I haven't even touched it, I don't see it. I'm taking that and then from the three cents a mile personal escrow I have now I'm gonna take that 300 and put that in every week instead of the three cents a mile now I'm going to ask payroll if I can do a second escrow if I can do a second personal escrow I'm gonna do that I'm gonna have the three cents a mile going in there in one and then the 300 going in the other 300 a week guys that's 1200 a month that's 300 every week so that's three and three is six three more is nine three more is twelve that's twelve hundred dollars going into a personal escrow every month do the math twelve hundred times twelve or you can do three hundred times fifty two whichever way you do it but anyway guys like I said one more shout out to everybody you know like I always do I want to give a shout out to my dispatcher Kevin he's he's the bomb diggity um, he, he keeps you running as long as you run I want to give a shout out to my new subscribers. Thanks for subscribing to my channel, guys. Remember, guys, subscribe, like or dislike the video so they get out there so people can see them. Um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I think you can ring the bell on my channel or not, and that way you get notifications of when uh, I make a recorded video. But anyway, guys, um, that's all for now. Um, until I can think of some more stuff to talk about. Uh, anyway. I did a rant right now, so uh, for now, this is the Convent Trucker, guys. Be safe out there. Be aware of your surroundings. Keep the shiny side up and the rubber down. Until next time, guys, be safe.